Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel and another video on Gran Turismo 7. We have some more lap time challenges to do, so let's jump in the game and check out the details. And as you can see currently there is three lap time challenges on the game, two of which I have done already and there is indeed a lap time challenge guide video on my channel. So if you haven't done those challenges, feel free to watch this as well. And the last one we need to do is the trial mountain circuit in reverse layout in the Roadster Shop Rampage vehicle. And as of today, the current time to beat is a 154.7, so let's get on track and try to do this. So in order to get a fast lap, you actually need to hit the last sector of the previous lap correct. So keep it narrow on this right-hander, cut the curb on this left-hander, cut the curb on the last right-hander, go to fifth gear and get a good amount of speed to the main straight to start your lap. Then position the car to the right hand side of the track and don't be confused, the car only has 5 gears. And then your first brake marker is shortly after this cutout in the wall on the right hand side. Brake in a straight line and go down to second gear and when turning into the corner go to first gear for some rotation. Slight power input and then aim to cut this curb on the right hand side going up to third gear and back to the power. And going to the power, be cautious cause the car might have power oversteer. Then after this bump, your next brake marker is at the end of the metal barrier on the left hand side. Brake hard and go down to second gear aiming for the inside of this curb and then go up to fourth gear before accelerating uphill. Next position your car to the right and your brake marker will be shortly before the very big rock on the left hand side leaves your screen. Go into the brakes, down to third gear, let the car rotate before going up to fourth gear and accelerating. Slight power lift at the top of the hill and then to the left going back to the power shortly before aiming for your next brake marker which is the plank concrete barrier on the left hand side. Go sensitively into the brakes, try to use some trail braking, keep it in fourth gear and then as soon as possible go back to the power for the back straight. Going uphill towards the tunnel, rev out fourth gear up to nearly 8000 rpm before going to fifth. After that quickly check if you've already given a like to my video. And now let's continue in the tunnel to check for your next brake marker, which is a small white sign on the left wall of the tunnel, as you can see here. Brake hard in a straight line and go down to third gear before early going up to fourth, turning in and going back to the power as early as possible. Your next brake marker then is these two trees on the right hand side. If they leave your screen, go into the brakes, down to third, keep it narrow in the left hander, up to fourth and back to the power shortly. Now go to the right hand side of track and this small rock on the right hand side of your screen is your brake marker again. Go into the brakes and down to second gear, aim for the apex, up to third and go with some sensitivity into the power to not have power oversteer. Now going for the right hander in the tunnel, I actually lifted quite early giving it some slight brake input because otherwise the car will slide a lot and oversteer. And then up to fourth gear when seeing the tunnel exit and early back to the power. Cutting the curb on the right hand side as much as possible, which I didn't do perfect. Cutting the curb on the left again and on the right, early upshifting to fifth. And as soon as possible go to the power without going wide and then go to the finish line, hopefully making it for goal time and two million rapids. And as usual, let's review the lap once more from Chase Cam. So again, in order to get a good lap, you need to hit the last setter of your previous lap. Then go to the right hand side of the track and after the cutout in the barrier on the right hand side go to the brakes down to second gear and when turning in to first gear for summer rotation go to the left hand side and then early turn into the right cutting the curb and then up to third gear going to the power as early as possible avoiding power oversteer. Then accelerate to fourth gear making it over the hump and at the end of the metal barrier on the left go to the brakes down to second gear then early up to fourth for the upper section to accelerate. Position the car to the right hand side of the track and then brake when the rock on the left leaves the screen down to third gear, give it some rotation and let it turn in before going up to fourth, slightly lifting at top of the hill to avoid oversteer, shortly hitting the power downhill before braking at the plank concrete barrier on the left. Let the car turn in, keeping it in fourth gear and as early as possible back to the power for the back straight. Rev the car out up to 8000 rpm towards the tunnel and then shift to fifth gear. And again, if you haven't given a like to my video, I would be happy if you do so and also consider subscribing to not miss any of my other videos. Then your next brake marker is the small white sign on the left wall of the tunnel. Brake in a straight line going down to third and when turning in go to fourth gear. Short power input and then your next brake marker is the two trees on the right hand side. Short brake input and down to third, keeping it narrow on the left hander up to fourth and then power input again. The small rock on the right hand side is a brake marker again, down to second gear, hit for the apex, up to third, 
Sort power input before letting it coast into the tunnel with some sensitive braking to avoid oversteer up to fourth and when you see the exit of the tunnel back to the power, position the car to the left hand side of the track, accelerate through, cut the curb on the right hand side which I didn't do perfect, they cut the curb on the left, cut the curb on the right again, upshifting to fifth and as early as possible back to the power, not hitting the wall, not going wide, hopefully making it to the finish line at a gold time and two minutes. And that's it for this week's challenge on Dry Mountain in the Roadster Shop Rampage vehicle. A very special vehicle that I have never driven before, but it is quite some fun, so go give this one a try. And let me know in the comments how you handled this challenge. Is it rather easy or difficult for you? And if this guide helps you out, feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget, I also have guides online for the challenge on Red Bull Ring as well as Eiger Nordfron from last week. And then I say thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.